Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an Aztec sun. I take three fingers from the top and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line around, curve line up, and connect. Right on top, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. We're going to work our way around. Next to that, I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Next to that, I'm going to draw a curve line in, out, in, connect. Starting right where I stopped, straight line out, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing over on the left hand side. So I come over to the left and I draw straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Right next to that, I draw a curve line in, curve line out, curve line in, connect. And right next to that, I draw straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Now, right in between here, I'm going to connect the two with a curve line, and another curved line. Okay? Alright. Now I come right here to the center and I draw a curved line. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a straight line, curved line, straight line, connect. Right about midpoint on the left. Watch what I do. I draw straight line out, curved line over, straight line in, connect. I come on the inside of that space right here on the left and I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line. And now I come to the left inside, one, two, three curved lines, jump over, one, two, three curved lines. Now some of you might have more some of you might have less. It all depends because we all draw differently. Right here at the top of this space, I just draw a curve line down and stop. Okay, now I come over to this section on the left and I draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect on the left, jump over, curve line up, curve line down, connect on the right. Come on the inside and we're going to mimic the line inside, curve line, and we're going to come on the outside and mimic the bottom line, connect. Right here at the top, draw one little curve line. We're going to do the same thing now on the right. Come on the inside, draw a curve line up, over, connect. Come on the outside, draw a curve line down, up, connect, and right here at the tippy top we're just going to draw another curved line. Come all the way over here to the left. Watch what I do. I draw a big curved line up, curved line down, and stop. Come on the right hand side, draw a big curved line up, down, and stop. Come back to the left straight line down, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, straight line up, connect. Come back to where we started on the left. We're going to mimic this line. Big curve line up, down, up, over, and I've run out of room so I'm just going to draw down here on the right hand side a little curve line so you know that it was supposed to connect. Okay. Lots of drawings. So, on the left hand side right here we're going to draw one baby circle 
and we're going to draw another baby circle inside. We come down below and we go straight line, curve line up, straight line, curve line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, baby circle, baby circle inside, straight line down, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Okay. I come all the way up to the very tippy top. I draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. I'm going to draw it again. Straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. I come on the left hand side and draw one, two little straight lines on the left. Jump over, one, two little straight lines on the right. We're going to work our way down. I come over to the right hand side. Straight line, up, straight line, over, straight line, down, connect. Inside, I'm going to draw one, two, three baby circles. And now, I'm going to draw little straight lines all the way around that little rectangle. Keep going. Okay? Now, I come down to the second space. I'm going to mimic this outside line by going curve line, curve line in, connect. Inside, I'm going to put curve line, curve line inside that space. Keep going, keep going. And on the inside right here, I'm just going to put one, two, three baby circles. Now I come down to this section. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to put one, two straight lines on the inside, one baby circle, and another baby circle. Okay. Now I jump all the way over to the left. I'm going to mimic pretty much what I just did. So I draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. I'm going to put one, two, three baby circles inside, and I'm going to draw little straight lines all the way on the outside of this outside space. Keep going. Okay? I come back to the outside of this and I draw another curved line mimicking that first one. Inside, I draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going on the inside space. And on this section right here, I draw one, two, three baby circles. I come down to this section right here, and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to put one, two straight lines inside, one baby circle, two baby circle, right there. Now I come down to this bottom space and I draw curved lines, keep going on this section, and I put a baby circle inside each one of those spaces. Okay, and then I draw a straight line, one, two, three. All right, let's see if that's everything. I think so. We'll know when I start coloring. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, this has so many little parts that in order for me not to get confused, I start off by working with each color. So I'm going to go ahead and use this first brown and I'm going to color in all my little details on all the little sections going all the way around my drawing. Now these browns that I'm using are things that I found in the bottom of my crayon bag. I tell you all the time hold on to your crayons. Don't throw them away if they get broken. Hold on to them because look how little this is. I still use it. I'm going to draw in my teeth. I'm doing all the little teeny tiny details with this first brown. Why? So I don't get mixed up. There's a lot going on in here. 
So I'm going to try and do it color by color so I don't get confused. Like one of these should be this brown. I'm going to use this brown on this section. You know, and sometimes it's a unifying color for the rest of the drawing. Okay, so that's the first brown, and I did all of that. Next, I come in with a different brown. Now I'm going to do the outsides of all of my spaces. Take your time. I'm not, but you can. Take your time. It's a lot to color. I'm going to do these inside ears. They look like ears. That color brown. I'm going to do my tongue brown. I'm going to do my nose and my eyebrows. That color brown. I'm going to do the outside of my eyeballs. This color brown. Now, do you have to do exactly what I'm doing? No way. But I would use different colors of brown only because... Now, see, I, I knew I forgot something. Hello. Down here at the bottom, I should have had curved lines. I knew I would figure it out as soon as I start coloring. Curved lines all the way across. That's his chinny chin chin. Now, this should be brown. See, you figure it out once you start coloring. Okay? This section can be brown. This outside section is brown. Now, you could use orange. You could use yellow. You could really spunk this up quite a bit. And on this one, I'm using black. Now, usually I don't use black because kids go crazy when they use black, but I'm going to use that as an accent color. I'm not going to color a lot of stuff black, but I am going to use my black for dramatic emphasis of my colors. A little bit here, a little bit there, not too much. If you use too much, nine times out of ten, you lose your picture. I think I did one of these black. I think I did this bottom section. These are black. So, use your black, but use it sparingly. Don't go crazy. Let's see, let's see. This section down here should be brown. My little polka dots, my little baby baby circle should be another kind of brown. So you can see we're working our way through and around this. Now, the real Aztec sun is carved. It's like a sculpture, a bas relief. That means it kind of sticks up a little higher from the actual stone. But this is all stone, so that's why this should all be different color browns. And I'm filling in my face with a tan. Again, try to hold on to your crayon so you have something to choose from. Okay, let's see what this oops. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Wow, this looks pretty intense. I would take my time drawing and coloring. Know that you can always stop the video and um, take a breather if you're in between steps. You might even want to do this in two days. Okay, bye-bye.